higher rooted radicals. Uh, first, we're going to start off with an example of a square root. Square root of 50 x to the 10th y to the 17th. Now, this is not a, I guess, a higher root. It's a normal square root, which we're very familiar with. We've, we've learned square root before. Uh, but one thing, if you compare it to the other two, notice that there is like a little 3 in front of this one, a 5 in front of this one. That's because they're higher rooted. That's cubed root and fifth root. Uh, there's no number in front of square root, but we could put a little 2 there to represent square root. Uh, it's one of those things that doesn't need to be written, but, but can be. Um, so let's put it there, because often it's helpful, uh, especially when relating it to the other one. So uh, let's simplify this. Uh, square root of 50, now 50 is not a, a uh, rational uh, rooted number, so we're going to have to simplify it to two numbers, one that multiplies, uh, numbers that multiply to it, but uh, one of those two factors needs to be a square, like 4, 9, 16, or 25, in this case 25 and 2. And so that will end up as a 5 with a, uh, a 2 left inside the radical. Now for x to the 10th, because the exponent of x is even, it's considered rational. But what we're actually doing is we're dividing it by the 2, dividing by the square root. And so 10 divided by 2 is 5. And so that's our, you know, what comes out is x to the fifth. And notice that there's nothing left inside the radicals. There's no x's left inside the radical because 10 divided by 2 has no remainder. So there's not going to be any x's remaining inside the radical. For y to the 17th, um, because there's more than two of them, we're definitely going to take some out. Uh, but how many? Well, what we want to do is think about your 17 and divide it by 2. 17 divided by 2 is 8 with a remainder of 1. And so that's how we get our answer. And, and the reason why it's 8 remainder 1 is because, you know, 17, you could kind of think of y to the 17th as y to the 16th and y to the 1st. And the 16 is the even that gets divided by 2, and that's why 8 comes out. And so we leave 1 inside. And, and when it comes to square root and, and exponents with variables and stuff like that, we only ever leave 1 inside because if we have more than 1 inside, that means it can be divided by 2. So that's square root. Let's take a look at cubed root. Uh, first of all, we know it's cubed root because of the 3 in the front. And the, the number 8 inside is a, a rational cube. Uh, you should be familiar with the, the, the smaller cubes. And, and those would be 1 from 1 cubed, 8, 27, and 125. You know, the 1 is... 1 times 1 times 1, and, and the 8 is 2 times 2 times 2, 27, 3 times 3 times 3, and 5 times 5 times 5. Well, I'm skipping uh, the uh, the 4. 4 cubed would be uh, 64 and, and 125. So those are your, your first 5 cubes for 1 cubed, 2 cubed, 3 cubed, 4 cubed, and 5 cubed. Uh, so 64 is actually um, 4 cubed, but it's also um, you know 8 squared, so it kind of serves both purposes. Uh, but usually when we're doing a number for a higher rooted, it, we, we tend to keep it a rational, where, where our 50 over here wasn't rational, we had to simplify it. For the higher ones, we tend to use numbers that are, are rational and come out you know, just fine. So the 8, the cubed root of 8 is 2. Now, x to the 15th, we're going to do basically what we did with square root, where we divided our exponents by 2, except this time we're going to divide our exponents by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5 with no remainder. So nothing is left inside the radical. Y to the 22nd divided by 3. Well, 22 divided by 3 is 7, but there is a remainder of 1. And i got to put a little 3 in front of my radical to signify that it's a cubed root, not a square root. And for Z to the 32nd, well, 32 divided by 3 is 10 with a remainder of 2. And as far as the exponents inside the radicals, anything less than 3 is possible. More than 3 means we could have simplified it further. And lastly, for the last example, is a fifth root problem. And the 32, now most of us aren't too familiar with our, um, you, know, you know, things raised to the fifth power and have them memorized, but you could always check them um, by going into uh, the, the math folder. If you just hit the, the math button, you'll see choice 5 is, you know, an X in front of a, a radical symbol where we actually need to hit the 5 first and then math 
and then hit that choice five to get five fifth root of 32. And you'll see that it is again two, and that's because two times itself five times is 32. Two times two times two times two times two. Um, so that, and it's rational, and they usually are uh, when it comes to the higher roots. But let's see for the variables. X to the 11. 11 divided by 5 is 2, but with a remainder of 1. And this is a fifth rooted radical. Y to the 35th. 35 divided by 5 is 7 with no remainder. And Z, 23 divided by 5 is 4 with a remainder of 3.